question 16. Well, you need to remember how to differentiate. Step 1, you multiply by the existing power, and step 2, you reduce the power by 1. So looking at this first term here, step 1, multiply by the existing power, 2 threes is 6, and step 2, reduce the power by 1, so not x squared, just x. And over here, the same idea again, really. I mean, you can just learn that minus 12x becomes minus 12, but just following this same two-step process, this x is effectively x to the power of 1. So step 1 multiplied by the current power. Well, minus 12 times 1 is minus 12. And step 2, reduce the power by 1. Well, x to the 1, reduce the power, becomes x to the naught. And x to the naught is 1. So it's just minus 12 times 1, which is minus 12. And the constant just goes... So our dy dx is 6x minus 12. Now, find the coordinates of the point on C where the gradient of the curve is 18. Now, remember, the differential allows you to work out the gradient uh, at any point. Okay, so we need the gradient to be 18. So what x value gives us a gradient of 18? So we set up 6x minus 12 equaling 18. Adding 12 to both sides, 6x equals 30, so x equals 5. So our x value is 5. Now how do we work out the y value? Well, we've got to go back to our original curve. Go back to our curve and substitute in your, your x value of 5. So we're substituting 5 into this. 5 fives are 25 times 3 is 75. Minus 12 lots of 5, which is minus 60, and then adding on our 8. 75 minus 60, add 8, 23. The y-coordinate is 23.